He caught a suspect and handed him over to police, but the police killed him, Apostle Sulaiman Fums. Welcome to the news and please subscribe to our channel. According to a news that was published by the Vanguard newspaper online this morning, it was reported that a general overseer, GO of the Omega Fair Ministries International, Apostle Johnson Sulaiman, has faulted the police report that one of the suspected kidnappers who was among the gang that attacked his convoy yesterday was gunned down during a gun battle with police operatives along Aochi Expressway yesterday as he noted that the suspect was caught and handed over to the police. Information that was given made it known that the man of God, who made this rebuttal on his official Twitter handle yesterday, asked why the security operative killed the suspect who could have led to the unraveling of the perpetrators behind the deadly attack on his convoy. He said, lies. They were not kidnappers. He was caught and handed over to the police, and the police killed him immediately. Why? Why kill him on the spot? Who is trying to cover up traces? While the CPS Ayodele Solomon, who happens to be the divisional police officer in Aochi, was reacting to this, he said the police had a gun battle with a gang that attacked the convoy of the crowd yesterday and killed one of them. Tell me why you go use... Tell me why you go use... They go always give you evidence now. You will kill them. Is this not the similar thing that happened to the vessel? You know that there was a vessel containing stolen oil. Many oil, oil will be saved in sell and Nigerians. You go, that money, and maybe ask some money, say, they you get it. You understand me? They will be able to get it. The money that's as you demanded for. Now, then carry and burn the oil. Rubbish it. So, I am waiting for the super story to back the story. When I heard this, I was like, Nigeria, what will we learn? When we would be in a country whereby, whether you are a big man, if your name like, make your name be Obama, Barack Obama, you commit a crime within the shores of Nigeria, you go face the consequences. If you like, make you be Joe Biden of whoever, wherever, for your community. Or make you be the chief of army staff, the founder guilty of a particular crime, you go resign and you go serve, if not just you go serve her. When are we going to get to the point where you know, things like this are not covered up. When are we going to get to the point where the norm becomes, you know, you commit a crime? You, you. I, I told the people a story. I don't know if you have listened to that particular news. Where I told the people a story of how a UK... It's not a story. It happened. I'm just calling this a story. A UK secretary, as in a United Kingdom, their secretary, or let's say secretary, as we call them for Nigeria. Do you know she made a simple error of what there was discussed in the meeting. She was trying to compile it. Eh? Or what was, I think, yes, it was concerning them now in-house. And she mistakenly sent that particular mail through her own private mail and not by the, you know, mail, that official mail. Do you know she had, she wants to resign for that particular, uh, what's it called, mistake? And I, I, I read the news, I was like, eh? Just because person do it. Eh? Because person do what? Person come outside. Just make mistake. This thing a mistake will be say you go make self go. They don't. They don't. They, uh -uh. The law was the law. She followed the law. She's not even allowed them to call and say hello. Do the needful. Now she used her hand quietly. She came and she said she regretted it, but this was the law. Even the UK, I think the UK Prime Minister came and said yes. Came and said yes. That she she has accepted her resignation and you know that's just the law. There is nothing to be done. I wish rule of law was working in this country. If for this offering me things for day a lot better. Forget to, for this Nigeria, eh? we got, we have a long way to go. So I I looked at my country and said we really have a long way to go. We have a long way to go. Now. Let me let me read this to you people. Man of God, how did you catch him and handed him over to the police? We don't need this controversy now. We are mourning the death of seven people who were part of your entourage. We thought that what should occupy your mind now is your empathy to the dead. So for that reason, as he's sympathizing, you should not be able to sleep. He will not be able to sleep. Do you know what you're saying? Now, yes, we're going I'm going to talk about the dead later on. But right now the man cannot sleep. It's just like you somebody break into your house. 
your house broke into your house and you come in and you see the person break it. Will you sleep there? In fact, for your mind, you will tell they follow you. You know, the person did not even meet you there. Not even now talk. Maybe when somebody now come and try to kill you and you were lucky. You escaped by the witches. You escaped death by... You escaped death by the whiskers. As in, you ne narrowly escape. And then, will you go back to the house? Never. That is what it means. So, Apostle Selaimon is not going to rest. He will not rest. And you sounding like this. Now, this kind of, now this kind of talk, they make me the talk. Say, uh-uh. I know, say, we go through a lot for this country. She born, but I don't want to believe, say, what we go through, they affect our brain. Kind of. It's not okay. To be sincere. Salaman is talking about how his only evidence of knowing the criminals that attacked him. And you are talking about are talking about empathy. Or are you one of the criminals that attack him? Is it because it's because of people like you that, that that there is no justice? Okay, that justice no longer prevails in Nigeria. He is right to question the police and he's right to come out. Now, if Nami I didn't even say this for our police for this Nigeria, then they very, very what's send the call lawful and they are trying to do their job well do you know that they are going to they're not going to rest until they catch that particular man that man was their 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 their, their lead now their lead to those the perpetrators because i want to believe say people with the on ground perform that uh, uh, that performed the job hmm? they had the order from somewhere who gave the order who contacted them for the job to be done all right, I can forward it to you and you watch the video of how he was killed inside the car. Hmm. Very funny man. So, so fake. No matter the situation, Halima's case is still ending up. It is very, very wrong to talk about that man's case now. I know that that particular pastor, he has a lot of controversies around him. But no, 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 no. It would be unfair to start speaking about those controversies right now. Mami, they talk. I'm not a fan of people who, you know, uh, romance, they are always romancing men of God and see them as Lord. No. But when it comes to things like this, I beg, no, no, it's not right now. People died in this attack. It's, it's, not, there's not, it's not a matter of sweep these things over under the carpet. Those people, they did not die for nothing. It should be self-justice too. Him even wanting to find those, to find those who are behind the attack is going to give those people now, uh, the family, closure. You understand? Wasn't really what prompted, who gave.